What is this school? My mom was like, she offered me to go to this Come Bible on, gonna study. It's going to be awesome. What kind of? No. Look at this place. The lights turn off by itself. You should look at the chair, yeah. Oh. 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 Hey, this is a place is awesome. Yeah, right. So this is the tables that we have here. Hello, sir. Hello. See, we will see the whole place here. Do you have a Bible? Yes, I do. Well, we'll see. Office? She keeps saying, guys, this place is small and not so good. What it is? It is. I wasn't good. Oh, yeah. Do we catch your name, sir? Mr. Mm. O? Yes, Mr. O. No, when you Open your Bibles to Ephesians chapter 6. Okay. Whatever I think it is. Hmm. First of all, where did we find Ephesians? Hmm. Almost at the end. Okay. Almost at the end. Almost at the end. Is it? This is the place. What is this Bible? Ugh! <laughs> Can we find a page? Uh, you keep being loud. I don't care if I'm loud. This school is trash. Uh huh. Watch it and if it's fun. Then you then you want to come here every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, sir. Wow, you break my Bible. <sighs> this school is like. Gosh, your Bible was broken already. You got this Bible yourself. Mm. Maybe you should go buy a one dollar bill. Hey, I could rather fix my ponytail all I want. I forgot to bring my like mirror. Are you are you coming in here? In the in the Bible study? Give me this. That is rude. You're in the presence of God, okay? Um okay. And don't be doing that, okay? Okay. She's always doing this. I'm looking for the page and your Bible is pretty messed up, so I don't know where it is. She ruined her Bible when she was mad. Be quiet. I, can we see. Live in I don't the same know why dorm. my head is um, stupid after school anyways. Okay, be quiet, please. Oh, we live in the same dorm. Okay, be quiet, please. So before we start reading and start getting to know Ephesians chapter 6 about parents, mm -hmm. you we have to sing. And then we have to pray. Okay. Yes. Okay. So. Okay. So. Ready? Um. What are we singing? First of all, you didn't even say anything. Like, what are we singing? Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Okay. Can you tell us the lyrics? Uh, like, mm, just follow along. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, Miss Assassin. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you will be grown. So, Benedi, we will go pray for us, we will pray, and then we will start reading. Yeah, my favorite part of this day. Thank you, God, for making us wake up this morning. You see? 
Screw it up. I know there's some people who are always messing up every time. And this is like the second bro, time the bro. principal actually changed me with someone else. But... Like, that's true. I want to know. And with Jesus. Go away, monster. Uh -huh. That's true. Of course. You're the one who's messing it up, so... You're yeah. messing it up. Yeah. First, we was praying. Oh, yeah, you wanted to go to your phone and... Yeah, that's not gonna work. I was on my phone. Yes, you would. I saw you. Okay. Whatever. Okay. This Bible study did not start off good. <laughs> but now we're going to... Oh. Now we're go I'm going to read Ephesians chapter 6. 1, 2... One, two, oh nine. no, I lost my page. Oh, she's always losing pages. I hate when she yells did that. I don't need this one to no more. I'm sorry, sir, but you come on the wrong page. It's your fault. Don't <laughs> accuse of me. Don't worry, Mr. Oh, it's right there. Like, I'm not on You need to go my page. I could have. The wind did, so stop. A name of Jesus? Go away, monster. Uh huh, true. You're the monster here. You're the monster. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, now I'm going, going to continue. So I'm going to read chapter 6, verse 1 to 9. They're talking about how you're supposed to, how if if you don't expect your parents or obey your parents, chapter what will happen? One? Chapter 6, verse 1 to 9. Oh, okay. Oh. So we are going to be. I told you, she's always Again? Again? First, you come here, here. Second, you dis you're disrupt you disruptive. Wait. And third, you you use your phone. Disruptive of what? Open. You're talking mad loud. So, just give me my phone. I'm We're reading the Bible. Friends. In the Bible, okay. study, you don't get to say friends. Well, I love to see friends. And I want to see friends. I want to do it so. Okay, so we're going to be reading chapter 6, verse 1 to 4. Hold on. Okay, what are we reading again? Chapter 6, verse 1 to 4. So, oh, remember, wait, wait. Hold remember on. it. I'm okay. going to get in trouble. Open sharpening. I have to finish off the pencils before you guys even give it to us. Mr. I, I want to get in trouble, but take mine. Okay, okay. No more disruptions. Hold on. What are we reading? Oh, chapter six! Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait. Chapter six. What, what? verse? Chapter you're asking what verse? Yes. One, two, four. I said that like ten times. Oh, she's I'm supposed to get out. She's forgetting everything. Shut up, girl. I'm not forgetting nothing. Yes, you are. Are you in a young body but have Alzheimer's? <laughs> okay. okay, shush. Now, okay. We already know we're reading. This oh, follow. Wait. Oh, oh God, please help me. I think I'm in another. Oopsie, I'm in another chapter. Like, oh. Okay. Chapter okay, go, Ephesians. Okay. Okay. So, wait, who's reading? Oh, God. Can I read? I'm reading! Oh, I, I didn't know she just read. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, okay, chapter 6, verse 1 to 4. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. I don't even want to hear this. Children obey their parents. <laughs> My parents are just don't obey me. Well, parents should be able to obey kids. My response, okay, continue, sir. If you be disruptive again, yeah. I'm going to have to kick you out. Where? I'm going to take it outside. Take a, uh, outside? Yes. Outside. Outside. No wonder this school is like trashy. Like, okay, let me outside. continue. Let me continue. Uh. Children, obey your parents. Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Mm -hmm. Verse mm -hmm. 2. Honor your father and mother. In parentheses, this is the first commandment with a promise. That it may go well with you, and you, that may you li live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger. But bring them up in discipline and instruction of the Lord. Okay. What is this what's this talking about? Is children and parents. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, yeah, children and parents do not, not match. Children are better than parents, and I'm a teen, so I'm better than a parent. Yeah, that's what she always says. Plus, what is parents? What do parents do? Like, they don't do nothing. Why are we talking about this? I thought we said to talk about like something more better than this, mm -hmm. so we can text to our friends actually. Okay, so this, what it's just talking about is how you're supposed to obey your parents, and that if you obey your parents, that you may live long in this land. If you don't, you might die at an early age. Oh, ow, oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for the um, reminder. Okay, so what did, I, what did I just say? If you don't obey your parents, you might not live long in this world. And if you do, what will happen? Uh huh. What will happen? Will parents? Oh, if we do listen, uh, I don't really know. You stay live longer. Thank you. Um, oh. I don't really know. Thank you. Havana. Oh yeah, whatever. Havana. Oh my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> That's my masterpiece, sir. Your recipes don't look too masterpiece to me. First of all, you got no fire of art. You have no That's manners. Art. We're in Bible study. Act normal. Mm -hmm. I am normal. I am normal. Wait, pass me your phone. I'm going to take a video to her mother. No, uh, uh, no. Take no. a video to her mother. No. I'm going to delete it because it's my phone. I'm okay, you. What, after what I was talking about, when, if you don't obey your parents, and you don't respect them, you'll not live long, am I correct? Yeah. What was after that? After that. It was talking about what the father should not do to your children. They should not provoke them to what? Say, how much is the vending machine thing? Huh? We're in Bible study, and you're already talking about food. So, I didn't eat this morning. You're a petty child. So, I'm asking a question. Mm. When I'm done to asking a question, then you raise your hand and you tell me or ask. Okay, what but say. I just need a, a little snack from the vending machine. So a child will die out of like, you know. Um, Come on, I need food. My answer, my answer is. You're not gonna get food in, until the Bible study is over. Okay, <laughs> like that's not. I don't care. Mm. So, so I share about my own lunch. So. This school is just so happy. So the father should not provoke their clear. children with wrath. Yes. Free food. What if I do? Oh. If you don't ask, what did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say? Well, I don't even know. No, you didn't say anything. I just say after Bible study, then you can probably grab something to eat. Mm hmm Not in Bible study. Oh, oh, like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Tell me what we just read right now. Tell, explain me. Well, that, I respect your parents. And? That's it. And? No. That's it. And? No. Girl, shut up. That's it. No, it's not. Hold on. I can't believe you shut do Shut up is not allowed in the Bible study. Thank you. Well, I said shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. You can't stop me from saying shut up. I just did. Go shut away. Up, shut up, shut up. Go away, monster. You don't deserve to be in here. Okay. We're gonna let a child like at least get through like abuse. He's not abusing. He's trying to do something like that. Okay, yeah. so when you don't obey your parents, you not live long. Mm. We all know that, right? And if you don't obey your children, parents will live long. There's no law in the Bible that says that. Um. Well, that's my law. You don't make law because you're not God. Well, I can't make a law because I don't want to. Ugh, she's annoying. You're just like the old person. One time, when does time? Oh my gosh, what's it called? Do you know how to pray? When does time? When are we dismissed? Cause I really want to go home. Well, since you're acting that way, we're not going to be dismissed for to um for quite some time. Uh. My mom will call you and she will talk to you. So I don't care. I have no problem. Mm. Okay. She's always doing that. I hate being the same dumb as I was the police. I mean, that. Principal Shut up! You're so petite. You're so petty. Okay. Yeah, do y'all understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, I know what you're trying to say. She does. What are you say. trying to say? I'm trying to say that when children do don't obey listen. their parents, mm -hmm. which is listen, mm -hmm. 
you do not live long in the land. And it says that in other places in the Bible, in the older, in the Old Testament, it said that in the Ten Commandments. Do you know what the Ten Commandments is? No. What are you even talking about? Oh yes, I do know the Ten Rules. Oh, we respect our parents. That's not number one. That's not number one. Okay. I know it's number one. What's this? Uh, oh, that's nasty type. Can you stop touching stuff, please? Well, I will touch stuff because I want to. Then I'll, I will dismiss you. And just like the Bible says, respect your children. No, where? Parents, obey your children. may have anger. So I just said this, now say that. Verse 1. Parents obey your children. Hold on. Do you know the ticket limits? <laughs> yes. Where? First reel. Put your phone away. Second reel. Oh, go to your class. Third rule, be on time. Fourth rule. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Look, first one is to do not serve other gods, mm -hmm. but God. Well, I already did. No, not this time, sir. Yeah. Somebody was getting you. Stop. <laughs> I'm tired of you. You act like a what is called a uh, teenager that has no parents. Smooth. You don't. Know, you don't want to read the Bible. Do you know who God is? I guess not, because you're acting like somebody that just came out of prison. You don't respect people. Uh huh. You talk when people's talking. Okay. And you're still touching stuff that don't belong to you. I can touch whatever. No, you cannot. I'm trying to teach you, tell you what Ephesians 6, 6 verse 1 to 4 is talking about. Mm -hmm. And you still can't tell me what you're talking about because you're not paying attention. It's talking about parents obey our children. Period. You got it wrong. You got it the opposite way. Can I say it? I got the right way. Y'all getting the opposite way. Well, mostly. Your parents obey your children, whatever. It's children obey your parents. And hmm. mostly. Do you know? I want. If I was a teacher, I'll give you three or four rows. Mm -hmm. Start. Start. Like. Whatever. I'll give you so much referral that you'll be living in the dirt. Mm, I'd love to. I love to okay, live in so, there better than coming to this. Sir, don't touch me like. Sush. Sir? Mm -hmm. Actually, I should call you Miss. Mm -hmm. So, do you know the Ten Commandments? Okay, yeah. Yes, but yeah. But I don't. Because this says that the Ten Commandments, they should obey your parents. Um, it's, it's almost like the same thing. Yeah, I think so. Mostly. Stop touching. Things that is not yours. Yes, Give me that bag. Give me the bag, or I'm breaking it. Can I go to the restroom? Can I You're go not going nowhere until you tell me what Ephesians chapter six, verse one to four mean. Ephesians chapter six means. And speak normal, because I know you wouldn't speak that to your mom like that. So, um, it means. Children, do not obey your parents, but parents obey your children. That's what I read. So. Are you sick? Are you mental? Mental, you were mental. Okay, <gasps> I'm gonna just pretend you got it right. Mm. Thank you. Do you understand? My A2. Understand. Do you understand it? Yeah. Oh, I don't understand what she said. Okay, do you know how to pray? Me, I have to pray. Do you know how to pray? Pray, of course I do. Okay, pray for us. We're about to... Okay. Um, thank you myself for being respectful to this class today. <laughs> the way you suck your face, like, when you respond, you go, Shut! your hot breath must hit Shut! Face. You're annoying. That's enough. I don't want to come with you no more. Sorry. This is sister of mine. Don't want to do nothing. Thank you for being my bad dad. Just come to Oh, class is missed? No. 
Well, I'm dismissed. Thank you, God, for making us wait until this morning. And God, thank you for being in our presence. Well, not very much, guys. It is a monster between us when we're trying to do Bible study today. Please forgive our sins. And please forgive us. And in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Yeah, yeah let's go. Uh. Okay, people that are watching right now, read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to 4, and understand that you have to obey your parents. Okay, understand, read it, obey your parents. If you don't understand it, read it every day until you understand it, you know where you find it. And thank you. Yeah, I broke my effing my, my bag, but come on now. Here you go. Get my pen, get my comb. Where is my comb, sir? Your comb's on the toilet. Cool. <laughs> and here's your masterpiece. Here's your masterpiece. Okay, and where's the vending machine? Hello? Here's your masterpiece. Mm, I don't mind. I'll have some mother. Read day. your Bible every day. You read your Bible because you're not Stop. smart. Stop. Oh. Hello, what's Hi. happened to you today? Because that teacher told me you were very bad no, mom. It was her. at studying the Bible. Bad. Why was you bad. act like that? Mom, nobody was bad. She no. was bad, Mom. She was in the car. She was even being so rude. That's why. That's hey, girl, you make me so embarrassing today about what the teacher said uh, it wasn't even me it was her she it... was being so rude what happened to you what happened to me i'm i did okay like, i don't like uh, when i'm talking to you you put your face like this like that i don't i don't like it where you got this for myself oh for yourself now i'm that going to punish you for that because I told you, you have to respect in God. Because when you're serving God, you have to know how to respect Him. Okay, I just go to my friend's house. Like, come on. Put your hands on the floor right now. I want to go to my friend's house. please. Uh, I want to go to Your knees on the floor, I said. Whatever. And now you're I going to know how to respect God and each other.